uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today we will solve this interview question okay so uh, this is the circuit they are present to uh, let's say ideal diodes ideal diodes and they are present two capacitors c1 c2 let c1 equals c2 equals c and the initial condition of these uh, two capacitors are zero meaning uh, initially both the capacitor uh, capacitors are uncharged okay uncharged initially okay at t equals t t equals zero okay zero so and we have v in of this waveform okay and the peak value of wave is 10 volts and the lowest value of this v in is 0 volt okay so for this like for this capacitor circuit we need initial conditions and that are given here is 0 volts okay vc1 vc2 equals 0 and they are these are ideal diodes means there are no like no cut cut in voltage of this diode okay ideal diode or we can say the cut in voltages are uh, zero volts okay so uh, so first what do we do for diode conduction we can do the open circuit test or short circuit right so first we will do the open circuit test now at t equals zero and we can see that if the diode conducts uh, there will be a infinite current uh, through the capacitor as there is no resistance present here right so the uh, voltage across the capacitor can changes instantaneously right so it can rise up like in in uh, no time right so the charging and discharging will be like here will be in like instantly right instantly or uh, abruptly we can say charging and discharging will be in this manner okay now first we can do the uh, open circuit test so for open circuit test what we can do is so this will be our circuit right for open circuit test so this is our let v in and this is our c2 and v, v out so for diode conduction the p side must be higher potential than the n side right here the p side must be higher than the n side like in in with this like we are talking about the potentials so at t equals zero the input voltage is 10 volts so here it it comes 10 volts so and this is open circuit so here this will be 10 volt as well as the di like capacitor are initially discharged meaning vc1 and vc2 are zero voltage okay so if this is 10 volts this is ground so if this is 10 volts this is also be 10 volts so here the p side having lower potential than the n side so this diode doesn't conduct okay so this is off but in this case if this is 10 volts so this is also 10 volts and this zero goes up to here so here is zero volts so we can see that for uh, d2 let's say d2 here d1 so for like at at t equals zero the p side of this d2 is higher than the inside of this d2 so diode d2 conducts okay so the uh, the picture will be like at t equals zero the picture will be like this so this is our input this is capacitor one and this is capacitor two right as this conduct this will be like this so this is this and this is idea so there are no voltage drop and no series resistance and this is our v out this is c2 and this is c1 so what what we are seeing is both like c1 and c2 connected in series and there are a like a constant uh, voltage source present there so what will be like the v out voltage v out will be nothing but a voltage division we know that so v out will be uh, v in times c1 divided by c1 plus c2 right and we we are given that c1 equals c2 so this will be uh, half of v in, right v in by 2 so so at t equals 0 the voltage v out will reach 5 volt instantly so this will be our 5 volt let's say okay and the here the charging charging is instantly so 
the like at at t y two this will be like this right as it is here is instantaneous charging okay like instant charging now at t equals like this is at t less than t by 2 and greater than 0 okay now at t equals now let's say t equals t by 2 to t okay what will happen now here input voltage is goes to zero voltage right we can see that here this is zero volt so now the again we can uh, do the open circuit test as well so this is our d on this is zero this cap okay okay what will be the like what will be the voltage across the vc on at this condition so they are they are as c on equals c2 the vc on will be same as vc2 this is nothing but v out is nothing but v in by 2 right so in this condition in this condition it is like it is charged up to 5 volts and this is also charged up to 5 volts and if we can see that kvl has to be satisfied okay so both the capacitor is charged to 5 volts according to our like polarities okay so now this is charged to okay let me draw and this is ground right so we can do this and here we have this and this is also charged up to 5 volt right this is 5 volts so we can do open circuit so this will be the picture okay and here we can see that this this terminal is positive right okay let me this terminal is positive and this terminal is negative so the terminal here it is positive okay we can see that right oh okay okay sorry sorry so this will be positive right uh, sorry the polarity will be this this is plus this is minus as as current is flowing through this path okay so this place having positive and this plate having negative okay so the the plate uh, connected to the diodes like the p side of the diode uh, like uh, the the plate of c on connected to the a p side of the uh, diode 2 is the negative negative plate okay right it, this is negative so we can see that this is negative plate so this will be minus and this will be plus and this is charged to 5 volts so we can see that uh, the volt this voltage is uh, uh, zero voltage right and this voltage is uh, more negative than this voltage so here the voltage is minus 5 volt right so what we can see is this is the p side potential of d on is higher than the n side uh, of this of this d on right so this diode will conduct okay but for d2 we can see that this is minus 5 okay and this is plus 5 so the p side of the d2 is very very lower than like lower than this uh, n side of this uh, d2 so this diode will not conduct then what will be the reduced picture so then the picture will be like this so this will be our diode this is conducting and this is grounded and this is this is also ground and this is plus minus 5 volt right so so according to our notation we are denoting vc1 okay vc1 we are taking as uh, in this way okay vc1 is like here this is positive here this is negative okay and and this diode is not conducting so the picture will be like this right so this will be like this and this is our v out and this is d2 so now we can see that this diode is not conducting so here there is no path for capacitor to to get discharged and no current is passing through here so the capacitor cannot charge again okay like it can it cannot charge like uh, a, a, like it cannot charge uh, more okay so the property of a capacitor it's hold its previous voltage okay so as the current is not flowing so there will be no charging of this capacitor c2 and there is no path for discharging of capacitor uh, 2 okay so the v out voltage will remain same and the vc on like this will discharge right through this through this short circuited path to the ground okay so the capacitor 
voltage across C on is discharged to zero voltage and the uh, capacitor voltage across the C2 remain at its previous voltage. Okay. So we can draw the picture like this. So at T equals T2 uh, to T by 2 to T, the voltage across the VC uh, like volt, uh, voltage across the capacitor 2 will remain same as previous. So now, uh, now what will be our uh, picture at T equals uh, T2 uh, 3T by 2. So let us draw it at T, T2 3T by 2. Okay. Then our, our input is again goes to 10 volt, right? We can see that this is 10 volt. So let us draw again. and our capacitor C on is discharged to 0 voltage okay so this will be let 10 volts so this is 0 voltage charge right this is this was plus this was minus okay and we are doing open circuit test again so so this is ground and and our uh, capacitor 2 was charged to uh, uh, 5 volts right Now again, again, so this is not like chart, like this is charged to zero voltage, like as initial condition was there. Like we can assume that the initial condition of this C1 is zero. So this is 10 volts. So this will be 10 volts again. So if this is 10 volts, this is ground. So this will be off. And if this is 10 volts and this is uh, 5 volts, the diode conducts. Okay. So what will be the reduced picture? So this will be like this. This is 10 volts. Okay, let me do here. But here the initial condition was 5 volt, right? And this was output. And this is C1, and we are denoting here this is VC1, right? Now, now this capacitor has initial charge of 5 voltage. Okay. And and the they are connected in series. What we can do here is now, so we, we know that the initial charge, initial charge is always equal to the final charge, right? As there is a charge conservation law, okay? We know that charge conservation. So the, the initial, what was the initial charge? So initial charge was, was and this is here, this is plus, okay? This is plus, this is minus and yes, okay? So, what was the initial charge? The charge across the uh, C1, like charge across the C1 was uh, Q1, right? And charge across the C2 was Q2. This is initial, okay? And Q equal to nothing but C into V. So, this is C1 into 0 volt as the this voltage was 0 initially. We, we, are, we, we have seen that. And here, this is positive, okay? And this is negative. So, there will be 5 into C2, right? So the initial charge is nothing but 5 C2. And what will be the final charge? The, we can see that final charge will be like, what will be the VC1? VC1, if this is like, if this is V out, na, and this is our 10 volt. So Q1 will be, Q1 will be V out minus this 10 voltage, right? This is the voltage across the C1, into C1, right? This was the final charge across the C1. And what will, what will be the charge across the C2? This will be nothing but V out into V out minus 0 as this is ground and C2, right? And here we have given that C1 equals C2. So we can write that like final, final charge, equal, like initial charge equal final charge. So there will be 5C equals, so this plus this. So we can write V out minus 10 into c plus v out into c right now if we calculate this this is uh, 5c is nothing but okay cc cancels right cc cancels so there will be 2v out 2v out uh, minus 10 right so v out is nothing but 15 by 2 there is 7.5 so this is the this is the v out like after uh, like in this time duration right 
and here the charging is instantaneously so the waveform will be look like this so it will charge immediately right like it can change its value immediately so this will be like this so it goes 7.5 let's this is 7.5 okay and we can see that again again if we consider this duration so this diode will connect and this diode will off right so again that this 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 capacitor is discharging through this way and it will hold its value so this will be the 7.5 it, it it will hold okay it will be like this so so it will be like this right so we can see that every every single cycle the waveform will be look like this so like we we are not to deal with the every cycle so we can see that the the waveform will be look like in this way right so there will be the pattern of like this and it will like it will reach eventually how much voltage we can see it will reach 10 volts eventually like if after many cycle it will reach 10 volts okay it will charge up to 10 volts we can see that okay so this is the like you can you can solve this circuit in this way as well okay so basically you have to check for this uh, 2t time period so you can like after that you can like draw the waveform uh, yeah, like after 2t okay so we can see that if each cycle the capacitor is charging like not fully but uh, it, it is charging some up to some voltages and you it, it will take some like more periods to reach 10 volts okay so this this was a very good interview question i believe and if you like our video you can subscribe our channel okay and you can give your valuable feedbacks for my further videos okay okay thank you so i will encourage you you can do the uh, analysis up to 3t as well okay but i think you will find this uh, like you will definitely find find this uh, same 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 waveform okay thank you